Hey everybody, welcome back to Groundhog's Garage. Today is a monumental day in the life of my 74 Grand Am. I have the fender over here. Let's see, let's go this way. So I have my fender, I have both fenders wet sanded, wiped down, ready to go. I've got the hood right next to the camera here and I've got the grill on the uh, engine bay all wiped down, sanded, primered, ready to go. Let's get some color on this bad boy. I've got a pint of paint. I'm not sure how far that's going to go, but I at least want to get the fenders and the grill done because at least then I can start putting the perimeter of my clip back together and then I can get some more paint in the meantime if I run out so I can do the hood. three coats on here on the grill so I'm done with that and while I was doing that I painted the back of this fender and then I mixed up another cup and painted some more of the back and where all the fasteners are and everything and have been working on the uh, face so now that I'm here I'm gonna mix up another cup put another coat on the face here and then start working on the back and then start working on the back of this fender. And I think I'm going to have enough paint to do all three of the, the two fenders and the grill and be done with that. Put some clear coat on them and then Monday when the paint shop opens up I can get enough paint to do the hood and clear coat and in the meantime tomorrow I can start putting all the grill the fenders and the bumper back on the car. So I've got the nose piece done. I've got the passenger side. What, is it? what do they call it on the ice cream? Oh, the drinker side. The drinker side is done. And now this is the driver's side. And I've put one coat on it already. And uh, getting ready to. I've wet sanded it. And I've wet sanded it with 800 because. Um, I initially did 400 and then when I painted it with the paint on it I could see very fine scratches in some areas so wasted some paint by putting some white paint down and I wet sanded it with 600 and got rid of the, the sanding scratches put another coat of paint on it so we're all good there but this one before I went full bore with a coat of paint I did the primer with 800 so it looks like it's smooth as glass primer anyway. Look, it's nice and smooth. And uh, we're just going to wipe it down now with some grease and uh, wax remover. And uh, put a little paint on this one. And uh, I've been pleasantly surprised that I haven't had a lot of bugs or anything in the paint, which is kind of nice. concerned about that since I'm painting outside but and it's white so it's not like I wouldn't see it. And so far so good. I have to do one thing different. Maybe I'd have got a canopy or something to get out of the sun. And it's hot today. And I don't think the paint's having enough time to flow out like it should. But it's still turning out pretty good. I have no complaints. I haven't painted a car. My gosh, it's got to be 20 years probably. Now, if you're a painter, you probably know this already, but I'm not. I'm a rookie at best but these disposable cups are the greatest thing since sliced bread and what a cliche but 
the last time I painted, it was cleaning out the cup every time, cleaning the gun, all that good stuff. Take the paint gun off first. Paint gun's off. There's a little coupler that you buy that fits this piece right here. And you take that ring off. You take this out, throw it away. You get a reusable paint cup. And this is trash and you saved, <laughs> I don't know how much lacquer thinner or gun cleaner by not having to clean your gun every time. I bought mine, I just bought this kit at, uh, at, at the Harbor Freight and I think I got maybe 30 bucks in the thing, but oh my gosh, what a time saver. So if you're not a full-time painter, um, you might have to fool around a little bit with there's three different size. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> At least for Harbor Freight, there was three different sizes of these couplers right here. Um, this was a female. My other gun needed a male, and they had three different types, and one was for a Devilbus, if I said that right. And then the other one was the other one, and that's what this is. But uh, yeah, so that's all the paint I got to clean out and behind the, the nozzle, and uh, it's good to go for the next job. So I bought some of this power spray gun cleaner. This stuff is the bomb. It al almost makes this enjoyable, almost. So uh, this was only five dollars, which was kind of cheap. I got this at Harbor Freight too. So. Just spray it in there, and take your gun apart a little bit, clean it out, and you're good to go. So, all right, just thought I'd share that with you. Pro tip. Look at that shine. I have to pull up what it looked like when I started. There's a little trash in it, but there's nothing that won't polish out. I'm pretty excited. And here's the nose piece. I got a little run right here, but Again, that'll wet sand out. That won't be no big deal. It looks fantastic. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so that's going to be it for this segment. Um, I got to get, I needed to do a little, let's see, can you see me? Can you see my hand? I needed to do a, a little bit of sanding on that, a little wet sanding. Um, it had some spider things show up. So until I get some more paint to put another coat on that, um, that is where it's at. I think I can put another coat, a clear coat on the two pieces here, but I think tomorrow I can put this fender on anyway. And uh, <laughs> that would be pretty exciting for me. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And hopefully you're kind of tuning in to watch me slowly piece this thing back together. And I appreciate you watching. All right, have a great day.